Ah, uh, there's nothing like the sounds of your own name. Oh my god, whoa, you caught me staring at a wall, pondering this amazing idea of what if I can integrate blockchain into the game Overwatch. Well, I think that'd be a really cool idea. I hope you guys think so too, because that's what I'm going to do today. So come with me on this crazy journey as I try to figure out a way to integrate the near blockchain into the video game Overwatch to make a kick-ass application. So with that, I say let's go have some fun. That was dramatic. So my friend Mike from Nier showed me this website called Pandascore. It's this website that exports data from video games like League of Legends, Counter-Strike, and of course Overwatch. Hopefully what I want to do is I want to have it monitor live games like the ones I'm actually playing in and spit out some sort of data on the results of the match and see what we can do to facilitate some cool action at the end of our smart contract. That was a lot of words. I'm super excited for this. Here's like the most like basic stripped down version I can kind of envision for this allocation. So we have our past matches here. We have the Tolles versus the Pumpkin Spices and the Pumpkin Spices won, yeah. Yes, queen, yes, queen. And we also have the Raiders versus the 49ers and then the Nerds versus the Fanboys. They got beat by the Fanboys. And we also have the Naruto's versus the Sasuke's. You can tell how creative of an individual I am. Uh, I think it'd be kind of cool to have like a random Twitch stream of an Overwatch game playing, place your bets with some friends or something for your new tokens. And if we click on new game, I think what I want to display is the live winning criteria being displayed in front of the user, as well as the um, amount of near tokens on the line for this match. So I think this is a really cool application. I'm really excited to dive into this and want to see this come to life. Okay, I want to lay out some cool placeholders for this table. What I'm going to do is I'm going to start with the first you know, part of the table, which is the, the head of the table. <laughs> I have to change the default color of this table, it seems. So style is equal to, um, let's just make it all, let's make the color all white for now. There we go. Create the body of the table. Yo, body on my body, baby. Cool, the Naruto's win. So here's our table. We have our table like nice laid out. I want to like now shift it over, put it into its own column and uh, begin working on perhaps like the Twitch video, just like video box to see if we can get some cool live Twitch action going on. Hey everyone, I moved outside because well, why not? It's a beautiful day. Um, the next thing I want to create is the Twitch stream and see if like we want users of this application to be able to showcase this opt in or out or opt out of being featured onto the homepage. Um, and then see if there's a way to actually specify that so people can jump in and either place their bets or they can just watch. So I'm going to start by making a component. I'll just call it Twitch View Home for the home page. RCSP, there we go. Third time's a charm. I just want some way to make this page feel uh, dynamic. So let's just go over to React Bootstrap's website. Um, just kind of steal their styling again. By steal, I mean use. I swear I'm an angel. So maybe here we can have like the, some information Here's obviously where the video will be. See what errors I get, blah, 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 blah. Button is not defined, so let's go back and fix that. I've just accepted errors as a part of life in programming. Cool, that's actually perfect. I wanna see if I can actually just like figure out how to just embed like a normal clip into this, um, into my webpage. Actually I don't, know if iframe works in react in the way i might think it does let's just throw this on the app.js page and see what we get okay so i have something <laughs> it's not it's an error but it's something like console say anything oh so much so much is going wrong ew okay frame border okay i have to camel case that too okay i've got rid of one error and received uh string true for boolean attribute allow full screen Although this works, it will not work as expected if you pass string false. And it's saying this request is not processed. Okay, it's gonna be Dorgan108. It's gonna be my own name. The parent website, so I think that's just gonna be localhost1234. So let's just copy that and place it into here. Oof, IP address could not be found. So how do we actually get the correct IP address? Or maybe it is player. Maybe it has to be player. So let's just try that. Like maybe, it's not, okay. Interesting. What am I doing wrong? 
frame border using video. Okay, so. I am the channel. I wonder if this actually works. If I just copy this line here, right? Will, will this actually work? Ooh, that did not go as expected. Uh, okay, so it says request failed with 401 at create error. This is truly bugging me. 401 unauthorized error, what it is and how to fix it, but unauthorized error can be a challenge to properly diagnose and resolve. That's comforting. <laughs> mm. I get the distinct feeling that it's gonna be a challenge. So, yay. Is there any relevant cookies? Let's see if we can do that. Is there a hockey do that? Yeah, this is fine. Clear data. Let's try this again. Okay, that's not gonna work. Clear to cache. Okay, so none of that worked. Mm. That's good. Let me play a sad song for you on the world's smallest violin. This is serious. I know. This really is the world's smallest violin. Okay, I want to actually confirm that iframes actually works. So I'm going to embed and also put in a shameless plug for my Halloween episode. I each use randomly load every time the page refreshes. Um, you can see them actively drawn, which is pretty cool. You can see who owns these pumpkins and you get the ID of these particular tokens. Anyway, let's see if this actually works. Okay, embed. Oh, you had to copy. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> okay, whatever. I just want to see if iframe works. There you go. Frame border. Perfect. Okay, you can see me and all my cringy Spider Man goodness. So it's not iframe, that's not the issue. Can I just do that? And I'm still. Okay. <laughs> I'm still getting this error. Ew! So if I place this Twitch player ID with mine and just hit save, Let's just start there. Start small. I see a loading circle. Ooh, and my no ID profile name and my, and my low quality Xbox like recording stream. Whoa. <laughs> oh, and my little awkward haircut. Cool, this is all me. Okay, sweet. And now, what is this? I don't know what this is. All it has is a channel name. If I look up some random Overwatch channel. Let's do Overwatch. Who's my lucky rando sponsored, not not sponsored, but you know, random person since I'm not currently playing. Can't take this guy. X Q C O W. Uh, okay, I'm gonna close this for now. It's like making too much noise. <laughs> oh, neat. Oh, cool. Okay, so it has the chat along with the video. I don't know if that was Overwatch. Did I just like pull a Pokemon game? <laughs> okay, so who do I who do I owe things to here? Let's 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 give credit where credits due. Um, author was made by Moonstar X. So thank you, Moonstar X. And whoever this collaborator is, yeah. Okay, so just Moonstar X. Thank you, Moonstar X, for this amazing this amazing application, I will, you, guys, you are awesome. You are my hero for the day. Thank you. Okay, so what's the best way of showcasing how much money is on the line? I don't know what a spinner is, what's a spinner? Oh, it's like literally just a loading spinner. It's kind of fun. I don't even know what a modal is. Oh, this progress bar can be kind of interesting. It's like cool little feature. The Jumbotron, add a new row. Add row. Error, element type invalid and expected. What is wrong? Oh, that's what's wrong. Ha, huh. okay. Well, that would explain that. I was pulling from the wrong library. Save. Good. Uh, I just want to find a pretty way of like actually showing how much money's on the line here. Can I modify this? Oh. <laughs> oh, that's actually kind of cool. Oh, I could just like design it in here. Cool. Well, that's something I didn't know. What was I doing? Where am I? Who am I? Who am I? I don't know. I guess I have a lot of things to ponder. Maybe the progress card bar could just be like the progress to the winning pot. So I can have this like third column as the winning pot value. So let's go and throw Emong here. Ooh, errors. I love errors. Fills me with hope and dreams. Thanks, this is the best day of my life. I'm killing myself tomorrow. Okay, so now row span is equal to two. And put in Dorian. Perfect. Okay. <laughs> We're back on track. So let's throw in a container in here. Gonna put in a row, the flex. So flex. Uh, justify content center. 
Ooh, that is so close to what I want. Whatever. Get onto Block Watch. Bam, like cool live match going. You can see who's winning, you can see how much money's online. If they want to even make it public, I'll make an option for that. So now I just need like a new game button somewhere. Create a match. There we go. So create a match. And blah, blah, blah. And I think it's fine. Cool. Per usual, I have the memory and um, metabolism of a squirrel. I always forget how to actually set up React Router, so let's go into React Router's documentation and just, you know, copy and paste some stuff. Style, I'll fix this properly in a minute, but I want to see if this works. So color and white. There we go, cool. So now if I just get rid of this and hit enter, I should just be back at the home page. Perfect. We have our first React router uh, nice and wired up. So let's keep going. Right off the bat, I just wanna say that React Bootstrap's documentation is just the cleanest documentation I've, I've had the pleasure of working with. Not sponsoring React Bootstrap in any way, I promise. But I thoroughly enjoy using it and just working, reading through it. It's always very, very clear. I swear this new microphone makes me feel like a singer sometimes. Even though, you know, it's more like screeching cats, I promise. <laughs> just a small town girl. I wanna swing from the chandelier here. Okay, so import form from React Bootstrap. And we're also gonna import the container and column. I wanna live like tomorrow doesn't exist. Like it doesn't exist. Oof, nailed that high note. Come on, what else is wrong? Oh, button. Oh, bother. Anything else? Nope. Cool. So here I am back at Pandascore, uh, and of course they have our lovely game Overwatch. Honestly, at least for the functionality of getting this contract to execute, is the results, uh, the result status, which I assume is like a boolean or something. So uh, I don't know if I'm willing to pay $600 a month <laughs> just yet. Maybe in the future. Yeah, it looks like we don't really get the we don't really get the um, the cool like live stats feed, which is unfortunate, but that's okay. We can keep going with this. Okay, anyway, that's where I am. So <laughs> let's keep let's keep this moving. I've been up and down these things for about a few hours, um, but I can't seem to find exactly how to pull information about like the the match itself. So I can't. Um, I'm not sure why, but hopefully I'll figure it out. Why? <laughs> so methinks I may have confused the actual purpose of Panda Scores. So I don't know if I can actually get direct like data from the game itself. I think this was more for like esports tournaments. So <laughs> uh, I may have to take a different direction other than Panda Score because I think this might be only event based instead of like actually like base up the game, which is okay. Okay. So now they actually know that the Panda score um, API may not work for my purposes. I, you know, instead found this like thing called OW API. So I'm hoping, my hope is that like I can actually use this to find some, you know, match data and see if we can actually get the outputs of the matches. Uh, but when I read the documentation, all I'm finding so far is player info and player character data, so I'm not exactly hopeful <laughs> right now. But maybe, I don't know, I'm gonna go into the Discord and like leave a message and hopefully that like something will, um, someone will come back to me with some help. So I dropped my message yesterday and I got some sad news <laughs> and I was freaking out a lot. Um, so I asked, hey, is it possible to monitor matches and get match outcomes between two teams and put them into a JS application for Overwatch? They said no. I was like, oh no, it isn't, with a little sad face. Uh, and they said, the only access we have is the overall stats, not specific game outcomes. So I said, oh, okay, appreciate your response. Uh, so I'm glad they responded. I'm kind of sad that I don't get the match outcomes. And I'm a little stuck, because I want the thing to work. 
Okay, so with finding out that the API does not work or that the other API does not give me what I actually need, I you know, did what I do and I stare at the ceiling for four days straight to come up with a new idea. And I have this whole new direction I want to take this application and I'm really excited to show you guys what this whole new integration of blockchain into Overwatch will look like. But I'll show you guys that in the next video. So keep an eye out for part two of this blockchain Overwatch combination series. Um, thank you guys for sticking around and watching our videos. It means a lot. If there's anything in particular you'd like to see in the future, leave a comment below. Like and subscribe because that really helps us out and really helps the channel grow. Um, and with that, happy coding, happy holidays, and I'll catch you guys later. Ooh, errors. I love errors. Fills me with hope and dreams.